good morning. So after the last few days and weeks of running fuels that I've never run before, namely the Omega FAI 0%, and believe it or not, I've never run 5% nitro either, um, I've decided to pull out a couple of my largest four-stroke engines, that being a Sato FA80 and a FA91S. And I've got some 5% Omega here that I've added castor oil to, to bring it up to a total loop content of 20%. So I just wanted to give these two engines a run just for the heck of it and see how they did with this fuel and then maybe if they run okay, maybe even try the FAI fuel on them uh, just as a cost savings means. 5% uh, fuel is about $3 a gallon cheaper than the 10% I've always run for many, many years. So this engine hasn't been run since March. Last time it was run, it was run using the same APC or Master Airscrew 13.6 prop and 10% Omega fuel, my standard fuel for many years. So I've got a needle valve extension on here and uh, so I can adjust the idle or adjust the needle valve setting. So we're going to try and get this thing running, get it tuned up, see how it likes this fuel and uh, go from there. Okay, now that's more like it. FA80, Sato FA80 with an Inya number three plug. Morgan's 5% Omega with 4.8 ounces of castor oil added for a total loop content at 20%. Got it dialed in pretty nicely here. It looked like 93, 9420 was the max it wanted to do, whereas the 91 would do over 10,000 still. And this one actually sounded a little bit happier doing it than the 91 did. Um, there you have it, pretty nice running engines. Okay, unfortunately my battery died at the end of that last uh, Sato 80 run there, but I think I got enough information there and stuff to show that it uh, definitely runs different on this 5% caster. Now I've got my 91S strapped to the stand with a brand new Master Air Screw 13.6 prop. Maybe a little bit small for this engine, but we'll try it anyway. And the same Omega 5% fuel with um, 4.8 ounces of Klotz castor oil added to it to bring a total loop content up to 20%. Uh, the one thing I didn't mention in my 80 video was, I don't remember what glow plug it was running. I put a new Inya number three plug in this. This engine has not been run 
in several months also. I don't even remember when. I'd have to go back and look at that. But it uh, should be interesting to see how this one does too.
impressive. That engine really turned still. I mean, it was going well over 10,000. It didn't sound like it liked it too much. That's why I didn't leave it there very much. Um, man, this engine seemed to respond a little bit better to this fuel mixture than the 80 did. Uh, both of them sound pretty, pretty rough on the low end at idle. And I even adjusted the, uh, the low speed needle here. I leaned it out just a hair, just about as much as I was willing to try because my idle pinch test was still being successful, whereas it would, the RPM would increase a little bit. And that's where I always keep that set so that you pinch it just for a second. You should hear the RPM go up a couple hundred RPM and then drop back down. And it seemed pretty reliable there. Now the 80 wasn't responding as well, and the 80 wasn't drawing fuel up when I was covering the carb up, and I think the reason is because I had that stupid velocity stack on there. So I need to take that damn thing off. Those things are useless anyway. And I think that's why I couldn't get that engine to prime properly. I might put it back on the stand a little bit later. I need to tighten up the exhaust because it was starting to rotate on it. But I uh, may put it back on here and run some more. But this thing, you can see this thing was really sucking some fuel too. The 80 didn't really seem to suck as much fuel, but man, this 91 is a, it's almost scary, especially starting it by hand, but uh, pretty impressive results, I think.